Okay, folks, now the other part of the resources are the galleries. Okay, these galleries are past year 12 art shows. It will show you a range of different work that was selected for viewing in the respective years. So if you click on one of these, let's try out 2016. It will take you to the SACE website. Now, you have actually also got access to design from 2015, so feel free to um, go to the different galleries from here if you like, or you can do them from uh, the uh, sector cover page. Okay. Um, now, if you have a look at these, when you click on these, in a lot of cases you'll just get a, uh, an example. You can download the original image if you need to. In some cases, though, there are also... Um, practitioner statements that you can download as well. So if we just move through a couple of these, that the first one we were looking at there was obviously a product design where someone's actually made a uh, piece of work. Um, this is uh, an awareness poster. If we go through here, this is a corporate identity. Um, there are only some examples of practitioner statements available, I think, at this stage. Um, we'll keep moving through here. Uh, there's a brief explanation. This one here, if you can see on the screen, has actually got a uh, practitioner statement to go along with it. So if you're looking for a little bit of more explanation as to what a piece of work actually is, then I would suggest you have a look at that as well. Okay, um, postcards. Oop, it seems to have jumped off of that. Let's go to the next one. Branding, uh, comic book, so we have a range of different things here, okay? And as I, as I said, I suggest you have a good close look at the practitioner statements to see what is possible. You have a list of design briefs to work from. You have these examples to see what final products could look like. Now bear in mind, you are only looking at the final products here. So in some cases there are posters. This is one from uh, here, from Red Ale East. It was in the art show in 2016, um, which was a book cover. So a built environment design. Now if you look at this, you'll see that some people do models as well as final posters. The posters on the right. Uh, the model is, uh, I guess you could say it's an added extra. Uh, probably something a lot of people may not attempt this year. Um, and if you haven't done one before, I would I would suggest you just stick to doing the uh, the posters. Um, once again, uh, looks like a, a uh, like a logo, corporate identity design. Work your way through here. Social awareness poster. Um, this one is hard to decide. It looks like built environment design or promotions of a built environment design. Um, magazine covers, I think. Jewelry. Um, I would suggest this year in particular that you actually play it safe with what you attempt. Um, this is another built environment design. You can see a model is there as well. Um, award show development, which is something you may want to look at the practitioner statement. Another built environment design, I think, combined with some sort of promotional work. And it looks like there's, it goes on. Okay, packaging design is another option. So labels and packaging and promotion that way. Usually tied in with a corporate identity type approach. Um, T-shirt sort of promotions for a corporate ID, I would say. Comic book art. Um, another piece, look at the practitioner's statement to check that out. And from there, we can go back and you can access the other art shows from here or you can go back to the cover page. Have a look at the examples in here. Have a close look and, and check practitioner statements as well. Okay.